dispose of this annoyance at once. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dong and Rampa 2. Goodbye, despair. As always, I'm dead. Join me today. We got cave. I'm feeling a bit green. Boo. Boo this man. <laughs> welcome back, people. Uh, yes. So, last we left off, uh, free time in the grape and strawberry houses. That's, that's the wrong button I wanted. It's been a while since I've played. Yeah. Uh, forgive us. It, their bit, life has gotten in the way. I've had to rebuild my kitchen. Yep. I've uh, just been depressed. We've got free time, so it's time to go on a date with somebody. Yep. And Who I'm are we dating? So... <laughs> Up until now, I have been mainly focusing on Kazuchi Soda, who is a cunt now, so fuck him, and Ibuki, who's dead. Aww. So I'm going to leave it up to you. Uh, then I choose Gamer Girl. Gamer Girl, alrighty. Where the shit is she? Oh, there she is. Yeah, there she is. Okay, so Grape House, second floor, I believe. And I chose... You're already there, so... Yeah. I chose Gamer Girl for two reasons, people. One, it gives me someone to voice act. <laughs> and two, it's an easy person to voice act. Rank you up! <laughs> well, is Chucky still sleeping? Well, now she ain't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just slept, walk out. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I guess the answer to the question Zombie. is Chiaki sleeping is always yes. <laughs> Unless she's playing a game. Now, I feel like she probably sleep games. Yes, but just because it's unless doesn't mean they're exclusive. She could be doing both. Yeah, I, fe I feel like she is sleeping until a person interacts with her. <laughs> just as, as, soon as, as soon as people like stop paying attention to her, she just enters like a stasis mode. <laughs> Like you lit, turn around and literally she just goes into that. <laughs> <laughs> Even if she's in the middle of a high level, uh, like a high level difficulty Mario challenge or something. What do you want? What should I do? Should I hang out with Chiaki? Sure, let's. I don't know. Sure, play Dark Souls but... and take a nap. I don't know. Hold on, I'm I'm gonna go get some sleep. <laughs> you you can stay here. I'm just gonna sleep. I stopped Chucky from going back to sleep and spent time today talking. Jackass. Look, I don't give a shit about your mono. We're going to hang out. We're going to sleep. Go away. Just injects her with fucking epinephrine. Here's an adrenaline shot, bitch. Yeah. Ever that see, doesn't ever work see, on me. You ever see Crank? That doesn't work on me. Well, we can't do that stuff from Crank. <laughs> We're children. <laughs> Eh, we're in a death game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess fair enough. <laughs> uh, Looks like Chucky and I grew a little closer today. Do you think, um, fucking, what's his name? I've got to take a poop. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you think he has like a like um a the electrical thing the pulse thing that makes you, like, that gives you a shock. Defibrillator? Yeah, do you think he has a defibrillator built in? No, that's too useful. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta remember, like, yeah, he's a robot, but Monokuma built him. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so, I'm gonna leave this up to you, because you picked her. Alright. Let's see what random bullshit I haven't given away or given to my pet yet. Yeah, that's not gonna work for her. <laughs> I don't know who that would work for. Passionate glasses. Let you see your passions as well. Eh, maybe. The laser will come out of your <laughs> I is, love Duncan Rumpa so much. Is this an Astro Boy reference? I don't know. Also, shooting uh, passion out your butt like a laser. I feel. I feel weirdly appropriate now that I have read uh, the. Now that I like, just before we like a couple days before we did this recording, I started reading the uh, Artemis Fowl series and Mulch Diggums. Oh yeah, I love Mulch Diggums. Mulch is a great character. He's a he's a good character with a bad gimmick. Yeah, 
I like mulch. It's just fart jokes. It's like, yeah. hey, it's like, hey, I'm a master thief. Fucking no one can take me out. Also, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But never forget, I'm juvenile. A blonde Earthling was wearing this. A ring. very icy, lame joke is sealed within the ring. So one of my jokes. Yeah. Well, we don't want to give her that. Then she'll give us the cold shoulder. I was going to do for this today. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> ubiquitous. What the fuck? You bi what are these names? Ubiquitous handbook. Perfectly designed handbook. Used for, useful for documenting various events that occur throughout the day. It comes with a pen so that, that can be easily stored inside. Unfortunately, you need to be awake to write in it. <laughs> Yeah, if any of these stick out to you, let me know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah, give her those. Even if she doesn't like D and D, she should. No percentile dice. What the fuck are these? Look at that shit. This isn't even a full. This isn't even a full set. These fucking liars. They've got one D10. It looks like. Yeah, but a full set includes the percentile. Yeah, a full set includes the second D10, but. They probably yeah, charge twenty five dollars for him. Oh, absolutely! Look at all those colors. <laughs> it, it looks disgusting. Yeah, it looks disgusting. But that's that's why like it's, it's, they charge way too much money for it. You're right. Yeah, it's fucking Chessex or some shit. <sighs> Man, I like Chessex. Hey, hey. <laughs> like, hey, she liked it. <laughs> they're ugly, but <laughs> oh, that looks fun. I'll play around with different ways of using them. No, I'm not. I'm going back to bed. Good night. <laughs> Let's see if they work as pillows. Ow, not the D4. <laughs> I'll put the D4 by my door so nobody can wake me up anymore. <laughs> like, is a cow trip or like wedge it into the door jam? Porque no los dos. <laughs> <laughs> She's staring off into space again, as usual. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Sorry. Ah. Uh, Sorry, I was getting a little sleep. Narcolepsy's a bitch. She takes micro naps. <laughs> so on, the, on that grind set. While you were standing? Narcolepsy's a bitch. Impressive. Have you not Have been you sleeping not? well? Oh, when it's not blue, I think it's so much. <laughs> uh, when I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. And when I'm sleeping, I tend to, you know, not Keep. exist. Sometimes I even forget to breathe. You might have sleep apnea. Nah, yeah, maybe. Have you but that would require I sleep. Have you considered getting a CPAP? Eh, the doctor just tells me to stop gaming so much. Well, that's because that doctor's a pussy. Yep. He's some fucking mad casual. <laughs> that's not good. Plus, I keep having nightmares. Nightmares that people keep trying to make me play horrible video games that I don't want to. I had a bad dream the other day, so I've been a little scared. I haven't made you play anything. One of my friends makes me play video games. And I've stopped taking loners from him. <laughs> this is the same friend that gave you Spec Ops the line? No, that's a different friend. And I've stopped taking loners from him, too. Okay. Can I ask you what kind of dream... Can I ask what kind of dream you had? Well, it was a dream about Trio the Punch. Huh? The statue at Jabberwock Island changed into a bald old man with a thin mustache. Probably because that game also takes place on a tropical island. So Tree of the Punch is a game, got it. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more the situation feels like that bizarre action game. God, if this was an action game, this would be Oh, an... that would be an entirely different atmosphere. This would be so weird. We might eventually end up turning into sheep. Trio of the Punch is a game, right? What the fuck kind of game is it? More importantly, <laughs> this is the only thing I took from this conversation. Just wow, she doesn't sleep, but she has weird, she has weird, weird fucking dreams, and she's like fucking sick about turning into sheep. So you like video games, right? 
What do you think, numbnuts? I'm the ultimate fucking gamer. Even if it wasn't the case, I have a goddamn Galaga ship as a fucking hairpin. Hmm, how should I put it? I like it, but gaming is my life? Or maybe life is just a game? All the world's a console, and we merely NPCs. Either way, that's all the more reason why killings shouldn't be allowed. I never play games with murder. No, I just don't do only killing runs. I try to, you know, minimize that. <sighs> it's not a game if you're not having fun. Doesn't mean anything if you just focus on winning or losing. I like that philosophy. Like, I'm there for the story when I play video games. And, you know. Yeah. At this point, Ninja just breaks in the chat. The fuck you say? <laughs> if we could get Ninja on a show. Never. We fucking made never. It. We have made it if we could get Ninja on a show. Or. And I don't even like him. Yeah. Either we've made it or he's fallen so far. Hey, Ninja, hit us up. <laughs> don't, don't, do not. <laughs> Stick with your master class and leave us alone. You're right. It doesn't mean, game, doesn't mean games always have to have happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. They should have at least competent endings. Mass Effect 3. <laughs> <sighs> there might be weird games here and there, but there are ways of enjoying those, too. Yeah, you want to watch my Mass Effect Andromeda playthrough? Fucking no! <laughs> That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your very best. Oh, so you're the Boshi. Haha, -ha. as expected of the ultimate gamer. I would probably just give up on a game like that. Um, I knew I liked Hajime for a reason. But to tell you the truth, there's one type of game that I'm not really good at. I see. What is it? Dating Sims. I won't tell you. <laughs> oh, oh I, I, I see. D does she have a reason for not telling me? Well, just by talking to Yaki, I feel like I was able to understand her a little better. So I guess that's good enough for now. I'll learn her dark secrets later when she opens up to me. All right, we should probably see if there's, like, a Monokuma vending machine in the building somewhere. Yeah, but maybe. <laughs> like, like, I don't want to just have an hour of us running the vending machine. But like, uh, I will, I, I usually uh, fast forward those. Okay. Okay. But, like, let's check the map and see if there's, like, a Monokuma head somewhere, because that's usually where the Monokuma it. vending machine is. So many other games have... have back be the map and I keep pressing that but it opens the transcript yeah the controls on this game are a little wonk okay it's looking like no god damn it Monokuma you dastardly we need a mono a mono machine oh no that's the archive would there be one in the archive eh, maybe I don't think there would be but maybe let's check no harm in it. It's free time. Yep. What are we going to do? Lose the opportunity to progress the game? Please have a Monokuma machine. Because if not, then the bastard trapped us. The bastard trapped us in here with no way to uh, do anything. And look, it's references to the first game. So this is the Monokuma room that Nagito was telling you about. Apparently, there are no clues that might be useful for escaping this place, but... Oh, that hammer might be a weapon. In the future, it may be, use, may be necessary to know about the enemy. Damn. This fucking FOV is weirding me out. Yeah. This is like Quake Pro shit. <laughs> this book here is... Deep stories that really happened and will probably make you cry. All 1,000 volumes of That Love by Monokuma. Sorry, I threw up my mouth a little bit there. So it's all a thousand volumes in a single book. Because he did say yeah. this book here. Yeah, he did. 
<laughs> so what is it like it's like 500 pages and each page is half a page each story is half a page yeah it's <laughs> each volume is half a page yeah it's it's this, it's this collection of poetry that he called short stories because it's Mata fucking Kuma I should pretend I never saw this <laughs> I love Monokuma Theater. It's so much fun. <laughs> this bookshelf has... Worldwide, Worldwide bestseller, The Ten Killing Commandments. Monokuma's personal guide to success and happiness. I love that Broadway play. <laughs> Somehow, I suppressed my urge to throw it on the floor and put it back on the bookshelf. <gasps> I love Hajime. <laughs> Hajime fucking slaps. Let's see, what's on this bookshelf? Yeah. Monokuma's Cute Meaty Diary, Volume 1. The Vagina Monologues. I can't tell if he means meaty in terms of, like, length, or meaty in terms of there's a lot of meat in it. He means a lot of meat in it. It's Monokuma. Or meaty in that it's printed on meat. <laughs> I highly doubt that because we didn't complain of the smell when we walked into the room. It could be cured. <laughs> it could be cured. There you go. What is this? Is this Monokuma's diary? Has that guy been keeping a diary this whole time? Yes. <laughs> Greetings! I'm Monokuma, the Monokuma, in charge of Monokuma. I'm the only one who looks good in a fresh salmon jacket. Do you mean salmon is in the animal or the color? Porque no los anyway. dos, my guy! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's still pretty recent, but I've made a tremendously huge discovery. And I shall share it with you guys, starting now! First, squat like you're sitting in an invisible chair, and put your hands behind your thighs. Then poop. Then... What? <laughs> Did you just say then poop? Yep. Then hold that position as you raise your thighs. If you keep raising higher and higher, don't you think you'd start floating higher and higher into the air? Good lord, this this motherfucker independent... Okay, so do you think he either in, do you think he independently created fucking troll physics, or just saw it on the internet in 2012 and was like, "Yeah, I like this." Mm, I think he independently created troll physics because that is literally a troll physics comic where it's just like, it was like, sit in a chair, lift up, you're now flying, mad physicists. <laughs> you would, right? Right. Isn't this amazing? Isn't this a revolutionary discovery that will cause a reform in the traffic laws? But I can't do it. I don't have that. <laughs> um. He just has cankles. <laughs> That's all that is, is one giant cankle. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there are still several volumes of this diary. Oh, God. But what should I do? <laughs> Moving on. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to read the rest of his diaries. Fuck no. Until I'm it becomes... honestly going to have to replay this game and get to this point and read all those diaries now. Do you honestly believe that there are more than one diary? Yes. <sighs> I believe that they would code like one or like two or three, maybe. What's on this bookshelf? Monokuma's latest work. There's no way my little sister is this incompetent. <laughs> I think this is an anime reference. Does this mean Monami? Don't tell me he writes these articles when he's bored. Uh, yes. Go to check and see if there's volume two. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. I apologize. I have spent Monocum so much. Oh, I have spent sorry. so much time with these visual novel style games, where people are like expecting real progression of things and they get upset when it isn't there like it was especially bad with the quarry because the quarry whatever you're gonna say about it that's a fucking visual novel game yeah it kind of is and like the and like the bit with the battery like like where they where people are like where they like look at the phone it's like 28 percent. all right i'm just gonna walk around here and then wait for the battery to get charged yeah i did that my first time too why? Because I was like, oh, maybe like if I maybe there's another cutscene for me to interact with, so I can get more battery power. No. Nope. Those things are visual novels. They just look fancier. 
was gonna yeah. say prettier, but that's not the case because they look fucking terrifying sometimes. Oh yeah, no. Um, I'm bored anyway. Let's take a quick peek at it. Hey man, what's up? Manakuma, aka Manakuma, is in the house, straight out of Danganronpa. <laughs> You're like half Jamaican, half Irish. <laughs> I'm in Tokyo, just got here, yo. I'm the best. No contest. My business is such a success. Oh my god, he's rapping. Fiddle dee dee and oiri. <laughs> I'm a psychopop, beefy, cute little bear. Make me a t shirt and watch me shake my derriere. I hate uh, this. It's bad. This is bad. <laughs> oh. Yo, are you stunned by the ill skill of my funky fresh rhymes? He even did the. Oh god! Yeah. This ha -ha. is every word, bad homie. Yo, my name this is Hajime, is and I'm here to, to say. This is me trying to rap. That's what this is. <laughs> Mad love to all my Monokuma heads. I'm crying from all the passionate love I'm feeling, man. Hey you! I'm in your neighborhood. Say who? I'm no Bruce, but I'm still a boss. Discount soy so oh my fucking god! He did the random word just to rhyme. Yep, baby. Uh, Everybody uh, clap your hands. You got a Duncan run for baby. Hey man. I feel dirty. This is what R slash hip hop heads is freaking out about. Looks like there are still several volumes to this diary. What should I do? Yes. Cave? Do you, want, do you want to continue after My that? My voice can still handle it. Let's see if there's a volume three. What's on this bookshelf? Mm. I'm bored anyway. I would like to talk about how I became Monokuma. DJ, spin that shit. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Back then, I was just a lowly salaryman who worked for a food company, probably salmon. One day, when I was helping my lover Juliet conduct research on stuffed animals... Aren't you a food? I was attacked by assassins and sustained critical injuries, which drastically changed my appearance. From there, I received emergency surgery from Juliet and obtained a body made of cotton and metal. And that's how I obtained superhuman powers! And so, I became Super Monokuma and began my revenge against the assassins who attacked me. This is an anime reference right here. This sounds like Eight Man or some shit. Looks <laughs> <laughs> there are still several volumes to this diary. What should I do? I think we'll come back to those on another time. What's on this bookshelf? Despair, boys. Monokukuma's session. <laughs> <laughs> Monokukuma's. I started saying sexual youth. <laughs> Despair, boys. Monokuma's successful youth edition. What a shitty title. <laughs> Monokukuma's uh, sexual youth edition is way better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck this thing. Hey, there's a Monokuma hiding behind that Monokuma. What the fuck? It whipped you over to this. Oh, there is. Hmm. I wonder if that's a hidden Monokuma or something. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a hidden Monokuma. Are you nice. serious? 395 nice. coins. We got a hidden Monokuma. I'm glad we came here. Famous Monokuma vote quotes. Volume 1. Here's one free massage ticket. Of course you're the one who's going to give the massage. However, if you keep using the free massage ticket, you'll eventually master the free massage fist. Never underestimate the power of the massage fist. It will impress Kinpo masters around the world. Well, this was useless. I liked it. I thought it was fun. <laughs> Except for the rapping Monokuma. I thought it was fun. Alrighty. Who do you want to hang out with now? Uh, We just hung out with Chiaki, so... Uh, let's hang out with Creepy Dude. Gundam. No, no. The other Creepy Dude. Nagito? The one who, the one who's suspect. 
So Nagito? Uh, yes, I guess that's who it is. I don't remember their names off the top of my head. There we go, him. Alrighty. I didn't want to walk over there. Yeah, I mean, fair. Oh, there you are. Fucking weirdo. Wow, I can't believe how huge these buildings are. What should I do? Should I hang out with Nagito? <laughs> ah, I'm so blessed. I'm so happy I wet myself. <laughs> He's about to wet himself. <laughs> uh, come seek some cum saw. <laughs> I've made a mistake. <laughs> Do you want to share our ideas about this spill? I spent time with Nagito today, exchanging ideas. In a marketplace of ideas, if you will. We called it a think tank. I guess Nagito and I grew, grew a little closer today. Sure. Um... Start from the bottom. Well, these are like yeah, that's proof trial of stuff. rewards. I wouldn't. Mm. This unlocks yeah. monomy mode, so just... which is fun. Like monomy mode is fun. Man's nut. Give him nut. a man's <laughs> nut. Give him a man's nut. Give him a man's nut. Sorry, but we can't let you give him that. Aww, it's what we in the industry like on. to call a key item. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You're going to give me an item called a man's nut and not let me give it to somebody? Especially someone who needs a man's nut. A huge nut that can't be found in nature. It's said to exist within a man's heart. It's said that in consuming this will increase your power to pursue romance. So is that like an item in like the optional real dating sim mode of this game? I have no idea. Japanese sake that contains no alcohol. Despite being alcohol free, it will still get you drunk. Hell yeah, baby. Eh, we should save that. <laughs> Let's get turnt. Give him the dull kitchen knife. Arm him. <laughs> Thanks. You like it. You're great. going to give this to me. Thanks, Hajime. I'm grateful to receive anything you give me, even if it's trash or leftover food. I'm creating a shrine. I'm willing to test that theory. Okay. I think we have some food that we could potentially give him. No, I mean, like, just giving him just fucking garbage. There. There should be enough time for me to move around more freely. Jesus Let Christ. Tangle with the dangle. All right. Uh, let's check out that other weird room. Because, uh, the honestly, room? There, yeah, there might be a... Um, there might be another hidden Monokuma or something. Alrighty, into the Dr. Roxo room. The rock and roll clown! I do cocaine. This is the door you to the final... You can tell what era we grew up watching television. Yeah. This is the door to the final dead room. It's fucking brutal. <laughs> it has a much different ambiance compared to everything else here. According to Monokuma, enough. if you win the life-threatening game that takes place inside this room... You'll Ow, be able yeah. to reach the octagon, where the ultimate weapon is waiting, supposedly. A life-threatening game? What does that even mean? How stupid. Who I, the hell's going to do I that? Full, I fully expect Monokuma to appear. Fully. <laughs> oh, he didn't. Huh. Well, can we make him go in after, like, still, or is that just a no-go? I, I think this is just a no-go. I think this is a story-locked thing. <laughs> Why give it to us and then not give it to us? All right. You've played uh, a Dong and Rampa game, right? Yeah, I have. I've played all of them. I haven't beaten the third one yet. It's on my like. I'm working on it. I just have trouble because they like one of my favorite characters. Have you played Ultra Despair Girls? I that's the one I haven't played. My, I haven't played them all, and I don't plan on playing Ultra Despair Girls just because it's not like in a style that I'm interested in. I plan on playing uh, it and playing it for the playing it for the channel. Yeah, and I'll be here. Um, 
I guess we should go back to Chiaki. Just, like, ri uh, rubber band Chiaki and Nagito for a little while. Okay. I look forward to one of them dying. Because that's always the way. Nah, I the no one else is going to die. No one else is going to die. That is fact. Yeah. Everyone oh, yeah. will live. Yeah. No one else is going to die. Only Chiaki and Nagito. No. No one else is... this. This is the last, like, that last trial was the last time anyone we cared about was going to die. What? I'm awake. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking about stuff. Let's play after we get out of here. Oh, she doesn't want to hang out. Tight. Well, fuck you, too. <laughs> fuck you, bitch. Don't want to spend time with me. What, do I smell funny? That's the problem with women. <laughs> Nagito just turns, just, Hajime turns full fucking incel shithead. I just want to play video games. God. I bet you don't even like games. I'm going to stop now. So, what do you want to do now? Uh, should we try Nagito, or do you think that he'll be a no-go, too? I think it'll be a no-go. I think it's been... I think it's, like, one person per day. Then let's talk to Mecha Boy. That way you can talk to yourself about pooping. Yeah. <laughs> I got a shit. <clears throat> it's a shame that his little uh, like chibi thing isn't mecha him and it's just regular him. Yeah, it just is. constant reminder of what we used to have and lost. But at least we got something oh. almost as good. Oh, it's you. You come at a perfect time. I need to enhance my drink bar. Give me a hand. What does that mean? Uh. I don't know, but first I'm going to do something else. Ah, uh, yep. Motherfucker. I Try to hide to on it. us. So many coins and nothing to spend them on. And actually, how's my pet poop itself to death? Nope. She's very happy. Yep. Ah, uh, don't waste any more gifts on her. How dare you! Look at how full her hope meter is. You're not going to give get her any happier right now. Yes, I will. I'll get her so happy that she'll crash back into being depressed. I'll gift yeah, her into no, being if bipolar. Want, if you want her to do that, then let her poop herself to death. <laughs> she, used to be, she used to be alive to be sad. You aren't. Okay, fair, but I'm the exception of the rule. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the help. Now make me feel things. <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> now Kamara, what? <laughs> what the fuck? I spent time today by helping Nekamaru develop new products for his drink bar by telling him sa sad and funny stories. Okay. That's less weird. Yeah, so what it is is I'm trying to trying to trigger different emotions in him to see if it changes what drinks come out of his eyes. Sad story so that he'll cry out new drinks and funny story so that he'll laugh so hard that he cries new drinks. <laughs> Looks like Nekomaru and I grew a little closer today. He made me feel things. Deep inside. Would you like to give him a gift? Uh, sure. I think I have a USB full of fucking porn on here. Would giving him food be rude? I have no idea. Considering he can't eat. Now give him the passionate glasses. I want to see a laser come out his butt. <laughs> you better already have one. Exactly. <laughs> what is it? That's a strange thing you have. Nah, he doesn't like it that much. Well, if you're giving it to me, I'll gladly accept it. <laughs> My Kamara was staring at me and groaning. I've got to poop! I don't know how to say it, but the way he's looking at me is making me extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> what? what? Ajime, lend me your body! Oh, oh my! Oh, Whoa, hey, wait, okay. wait, wait, ah! Nekamaru fell all over my body before I quickly broke free. Oh man, Nekamaru, you are like, you are a gift that keeps on giving. 
Uh, you are a gift that will eventually turn into a restraining order. <laughs> Just as I thought, I wasn't wrong. You got a tiny wiener. <laughs> you will become an amazing athlete if you train yourself. What? What? Huh. You must have been born with good bone structure. We need to change your diet, bulk up your muscle mass. Wait, hold on. What are you talking about? You, you're calling me an athlete, but what are you talking about? That burp was in character. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, he's been drinking soda all day. I'm talking about you, obviously. Uh huh. I'm a manager, you know. I feel up men. I grope people and determine their potential. It's my job. Yeah, I have a license. That's a f that's for federal booby inspecting. Come on, man. Yeah. Look, breast breast injuries happen a lot in our sports. Okay. <laughs> I gotta make I gotta make sure like there's no cancer there, and I also gotta make sure there's no regular injury. Oh man, we're just being professional. You're making it weird. It's my job to help athletes figure out what they want to become. I don't mind which athlete you want to become, but it's wrong for me to decide that for you. Whether or not he decides, he's treating me like an athlete for some reason, but it doesn't matter at all. Question mark. <laughs> Let's see. For example, how about that? Using your entire body to fight over a ball, a sport that is truly the manliest of men's sports. I don't really want to think about it, though. Nekamar is probably talking about rugby. It's rugby. Is it rugby? Pay attention! Gah, you got it right! Bullseye! Oh, sorry. Bullseye! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> rugby was originally... Yeah, rugby was originally a religious service in the, in the Shinto religion. What? No, it wasn't! The men would fight over a bundle of rice plant ears in hopes of a rich harvest. It's a holy sport said to have originated when the first bead of sweat fell onto the first rice seed. By Spike Books. What? No I way. I need to do research into rugby, like, around the world and see if that's an actual fact. I don't know anything about rugby, and I've never even seen a match in the first place. <laughs> that doesn't matter at all. Oh. Your calm judgment skills, your high degree of mobility. And you obviously know the importance of teamwork. You may well be a natural on the rugby field. Aren't you? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Aren't you overestimating me a bit? <laughs> My eyes have never deceived, even if I want them, even if you might be. Sorry. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> My he, eyes are saying, never deceived, even if you might be. He's saying that Hajime is being is deceived by his own physicality. No, yeah, I, I thought the sense was going somewhere else, and then it didn't, and I got confused. If you're ever interested, let me know. I'll take care of you anytime. And I don't mean just butt stuff. Nekamaru walked away with a big smile on his face. Even if it compliments me, I don't think I'd be any good at rugby. Or do I really have that kind of natural ability? My heart is swayed. Is this the work of the ultimate team man manager's scouting skill? Hell yeah, baby. Hope fragments. I wonder if one of the items is like the ultimate turd and you can give that to Nekamaru. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's so perfect. I should return to my cottage for now. Which is to nah, say my room. To run the data. Um, what time is it right now? I can't see the oh, clock yeah. hands for some reason. Huh. It was already 10 p.m. Just as I thought. I can't get a sense of what time it is when there are no windows or Monokuma announcements. It's still a little early, but I should go back to my room. 10 p.m.? Into the crummy room. The best room in the fucking house. Yeah, we determined that uh, last time. <laughs> like, honestly, like, did any of the other rooms have TVs? Uh, I, I think all remember. the 
I think all of them had monitors. Okay. Bernard's the only one with bunny ears, so he can get fucking, like, three channels. PBS, baby! Yeah, as opposed to, as opposed to everyone else who can only get fucking, you can only get the goddamn monocam footage. Hey, Hajime, great, I've been watching myself on TV for five hours. <laughs> I don't do a lot, but it's very entertaining. <laughs> I'm trying to do my best not to worry, but even I have my limits. I'm hungry. That sounds like first. Ooh, I heard that. What are you gonna do? Jeez, are you whining already? It's only your second day. Eat your shoes. So, would think I'm stabbing you or something? <laughs> it's so jeez of you to do that all the... Uh, all, uh, it's so jeez of you to do this that all I can say is jeez. You should just stop being stubborn. Hurry up and start eating people. I mean, killing already. I mean, if I ate a person, it would succeed in killing them. Ah, uh, you can start at the legs. Where... Do you, know, do you know where these people's feet have been? Yeah? And? If you're that hungry... If you're that hungry, you start at the middle. No, you start at the legs, that way you preserve the rest of the meat for longer. Eh, fuck them. It's gonna rot! The way I eat it won't. Then you're gonna run through all that protein too quick, man. You gotta, you gotta ration your corpses. <laughs> what do you want? My my, you don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? It's almost like I've been starved for two days. News. Well, I have good news for you guys. You've lost all. You've all lost your drive ever since you guys got here, right? You have the drive of an old man in his in his fifties. In order for you guys to get your energy back, I'm providing a special service with all my heart. So everyone, please gather at Great Tower tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I'm the only one here. Why are you saying everyone? Because they listen to you, dumbass. Are they, are they listening now? How, how are they listening? You'll order them. Seven in the morning. There's no alarm clock in this room. How are you expecting to wake us? How do you expect to wake us up? <laughs> That's your responsibility, for, so figure it out. By the way, being late is strictly prohibited. Bye-bye. Okay, then. Bye. I'm going to go stare at Chiaki. Please don't. She's a minor. <laughs> Service with all your heart. Huh. It's no use. My stomach feels so empty I can't stop thinking about food. There's gotta be mold in here somewhere, right? Even if it's not the edible kind, it'll give me a way out. If I know Monokuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Damn it. Pillow stuffing fill my empty stomach. I pulled up the thin covers on my futon, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pangs. I went to sleep. Yeah, these Monokuma theaters aren't as good as the first games. Yeah, no, they're not. Today I interviewed random strangers on the street and asked them, What do you hate about Monokuma? Oh, bitch, where do I start? Here are the results. He has a foul mouth, a terrible personality, and he's a rude pig. But he's still popular despite all that. He's a lazy ass who doesn't work hard at all, and yet he's more skilled and better than- I get the feeling that the latter half of these are he added them on. Absolutely. Yeah. Not only did Do God give him both hands, God gave him everything. That was just him. That was just him. He always talks crap about others, but nobody really talks crap about him. That's what you think, you dumb That's bitch. That's just not true. <laughs> yeah, maybe just because you haven't seen people talking crap about you doesn't mean they don't. That he's willing to die to protect the woman that he loves. You'd love something? You're in the wrong genre, dude. Yeah, that's the other half of this game. That he can't live without me. Ah, there's the woman that he loves, supposedly. <laughs> This is all from the woman that he supposedly loves. She's just obsessed with him. 
Yeah. He's usually cold toward me, but he takes good care of me when I'm sick. Yeah, her name's Monokima. It's just him in a wig. <laughs> he always slaps me around when he drinks, but afterwards he cries and can't be hugged. Yep, still him. If your partner is acting like this towards you, you need to get help because they are not good for you. If yeah, you're coming to if you're coming to a Dong and Rompa let's play for advice about your abusive relationship, they might not realize they're in an abusive relationship. Like that's that's a big thing about the sweetheart cycle. I hate that his job changes every time he gets a new chick. <laughs> He's extremely responsive when other people say things like drinks, group dates, and promotions. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curvier after she enrolled in middle school. Those were the results. What? I've got to go wash my mind out with soap. Uh, mm. He said this is troubling, and I agree. Yeah, that yeah, it is. That, is troubling. This is all very troubling. I'm starting to feel this strange chill. <laughs> You and me both, bud. Well, it obviously must be from hunger. No, it's because your room's drafty as fuck. Yeah, it's because your room has an active storm in it. <laughs> what time is it now? I sat up much slower than usual and headed straight to the lounge. Oh, it's 7. Oh, thank God. 7 p.m.? Wait a minute! <laughs> 6.30 a.m. It's a miracle I was able to wake up. As I recall, it's bad if we don't bat if we don't gather at Grape Tower by 7, 7 a.m. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess I should go for now. Not gonna wake everybody else up. We'll do that next time. Yeah, thank you for joining us. We'll be back with this hopefully soon. Till then, I'm dead. Enough cave. See you guys next time. Excuse me while I whip this out.